Google has more than 200 ranking factors in their algorithm. So how do you make sure that your website is compiled with all of them and you can rank higher on Google? Hello everyone, my name is Cristiano Zunchev and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a simple way that you can use to make your website Google friendly, free of technical issues and get it to rank higher on Google. So the first thing that you need to do is going to an SEO website audit tool. There's so many companies offering such tools and most of them work really great. In this video, I'll be using Ahrefs, which you can also do for free with your trial option. Now, once you go to Ahrefs, you need to put in your website and the system, the, the software will start analyzing it. I have my audit prepared here for the video as it usually takes one hour to analyze the whole website. And I picked this website, it's called Etco. They're producing uh, concrete grinders. They're concrete grinder manufacturer with a lot of potential in their niche. They're not our clients. I just uh, love this niche because it has so much potential and wanted to choose a random company. So straight to the point. Once the auditor is done, you get a detailed report like this one. It will show you the overall website's SEO score, what keywords you currently rank for, what backlinks do you have, how many pages from your website were crawled, your critical SEO issues, your warnings and other recommendations. You get a complete website health check with these tools and this is why they're really amazing. As you go down, you can see the report breaking down things like your website speed, your mobile score and other SEO issues. The best part is that the team behind Ahrefs and those other SEO tools are always up to date with Google's algorithm changes and they're always fine tuning their tools whenever there's something new. This way you can always be up to date with your website and you don't have to learn every new factor in Google's algorithm because somebody else is doing it for you, which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Now, what I want you to do with this report is to look at the top right corner where we can see the three main type of issues that the Ahrefs auditor is using. We have errors, warnings, and notices. Now, you want to start fixing the main errors first. And here, for example, we first need to fix the missing meta description pages. Best of all, these tools give you information about which error means exactly, why it's important and how you can fix it. To do so, you can just click here on the right and you get this pop-up with explanation of the issue, how to fix it and option to see all affected URLs. A meta description is this small box of text that you see on their website's title in the search results. So to learn how to fix all of your pages which lack of meta description, you can just click here and Ahrefs will bring you to a short article where they explain how to write the perfect meta description. And then you can go to view affected URLs and see all of the URLs with missing meta description. Once you do this, just go back to the main list with issues and continue fixing the rest of them. When you're working on fixing the issues that your website analyzer gives you, you want to make sure that you fix as many issues as possible. Keep in mind that after all, that's a tool and it might be 99% accurate in most cases, but there's still 1% missing. What I do have in mind with this is that you could, for example, get an error that you have pages with too small word count, but if those pages are your contact us page and about us page, then that's not critical and you could simply ignore that. In addition to those issues that you see right here, you need to check on your website's speed and mobile friendliness, which is very important for both the users and Google. And for that purpose, I'll just go to Google and type, type in Google website speed test. Then you need just to open this uh, first organic link here and it will bring you to Google's tool for analyzing website speed test. The best thing about this too is that when it analyzes your website, it will give you a score of how fast your website loaded, loads and also it will break down all the issues that are present with the website and what you can fix to actually increase the score. Etco's website, for example, has pretty bad site speed score and it takes 60 seconds to load the website fully on mobile, but luckily this issue can be fixed. Usually one of the biggest problems related to website speed is hosting, so you might want to change your hosting or just update your plan. Now that you have all of those issues taken care of, you want to go here and recrawl your website. And now you'll be able to see the overall SEO score going up and if there is something else left to fix. If you find this process too hard, you can always go to any of the freelancers platforms like Upwork and find experienced people to do it for you. That way you save time and money and know that everything has been done properly. So congratulations, now you have a website that is free of technical issues. One of the four main SEO pillars are taken care of. What you have left to do is on-page SEO, 
making sure your website's pages are optimized around the right keywords. Content marketing, which is basically making sure that you have content on all of the topics that your potential customers care for. And the fourth pillar is off-page SEO. This is the process of making people talk about you and sending links back to your website. I will now work on making videos on how to take care of the other three, three SEO pillars. And meanwhile, we can work on fixing all those technical issues and making sure your website is Google friendly because technical optimization is really the main pillar which you desperately would need for your website. And uh, from there, you're good to go. You can now sit back, relax and watch your rankings go high and high. Watch, watch the increase in your traffic and sales, which is after all the, the main goal behind all those SEO efforts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and find it useful. My end goal is to create valuable content with tips that you can easily, easily put into practice. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions, it would be highly appreciated. If you need any help with your SEO, don't hesitate to contact us at youngcaesar.com. We'll be always happy to help. Thank you so much for your time and have a blessed day. Bye.